Hi, this is Pavan. Welcome to Technofiles Up. Today we are going to talk about the security warnings that you get when you run the applications that are not digitally verified. And this is a security warning that I am talking about. And the problem with this particular security warning is that it always shows up and even when you uncheck the box which says always ask before opening this file and run the application. When you run it for the next time you still get the pop-up box and at times this can be annoying so today let's see uh, the ways in which we can make this pop-up box disappear so <clears throat> there are a couple of ways in which we can do this one is by editing the group policies uh, type gph.ms in the run box and hit enter it, it will open the group policy editor local group policy editor and go to user configuration administrative templates and windows components and attachment manager here you can see that inclusion list for moderate risk file types as of now this policy is not configured just make it enabled and add .exe files as low risk file type which is actually not the case exe files are moderately risky and it's not suggested to add this file type as low risk file type but after making this change the security warning goes off so this is one way of doing it and is not a suggested way so let's disable not configured and click ok so I have undone the changes that I have made and the other way to do it is uh, this is a simple batch file that I've written where I'm using the run as command and with a user uh, the computer name slash username and I'm saving the credentials and running the application when I use this particular bat file and run the application it actually runs without showing the security warning so this is the basic concept behind our technique so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a shortcut for that particular application so new shortcut and provide the path of the application that is asking for the security warning and now type as run as command this is a command uh, from windows prompt so it takes attribute user and what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide the current user name that I'm logged in that I've logged in so how do I find the current logged in is user is that go to control control panel and go to user accounts and inside the user account you can see the current logged in user and when you press on the configure advanced user profile properties you can see the username here home slash Pavan. so this is the current user who is logged in alternatively you can find this using command prompt I guess the command is net user mm -hmm. this not showing so we can find it via control panel that's not a big deal I did not check so I cannot provide this at this point of time so run as user and home slash Pavan and I guess it is backslash home slash Pavan is a user and I want to save the credentials so put save cred option also and run the application so click next and save the name of the shortcut so this creates the uh, shortcut and I want to update the, the icon of it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to properties icon, and select the exe application that I'm running so this has the icons inside it so I'm going to select this icon and click OK so this this is the way that we uh, make the pop-up box go so but still when I run the application from the original source
set just a second when i run the application from the original source it still shows the security warning so this is only applicable for the shortcut but uh, your system also runs the shortcut while startup so you might want to check the app data folder inside app data folder you will find microsoft windows and start menu programs so this is where startup programs will be there and you might want to change the shortcut here as well just change the shortcut properties and copy the properties that we have defined from the shortcut that we have just created it has the run as command user and all so just copy it and change the target url here so that it will not ask for the security warning next time so this is how we do it uh, Hope you like the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.